We have a call. We've got Lisa on the line from Woodbridge. Hi, Lisa. Hi. How are you today? I'm well. How are you? Good, thank you. Do you have a question for Dr. Mike? Yes. Uh, I just wanted to know, do I necessarily need to supplement if our family consumes fish often, and does tuna count? Great question, Lisa. Um, so, yes, you have to supplement, unfortunately, uh, even though you're consuming fish. Uh, the reason being is because it depends on what kind of fish you're consuming. And so tuna, unfortunately, does not count. Um, because tuna, what's going to happen, if, first of all, the EPA DHA count in, in terms of um, the omega fats that are in tuna are very low. Uh, secondly, they also have a high level, high level of mercury. So you want to be careful with just consuming uh, just you know, tuna in general and cans of tuna. And you'd have to consume an extreme amount of tuna in a can to get the therapeutic dose. So supplementation, unfortunately, is, is the only way to ward off some of these issues that we have today in society. Thanks for your call, Lisa. Keep watching. Uh, we have to take a short break. When we come back, we are going to talk all about allergies and sensitivities. We've got some more case studies, as well as a patient of yours who came in and uh, was treated for some eczema. Yes. All right. We have to, to take a short break. Don't go anywhere. More with Dr. Mike when we come back here on In the Know. We're talking all about you are what you eat.